Thanks to everybody who's contributed to the organisation of this ceremony, including supporting our performers and supporting the opportunity for presentations to be viewed at home. It is unusual circumstances, folks. Thank you also to the Art Department for the stunning art on display, and particular thanks to uh, Mrs. Roberts, who I know has done a lot of work to oversee the organisation of this event today. It is three years since we last had a formal award ceremony. And it is such a pleasure to be able to do this again today. I would normally address the audience for nearly 15 minutes uh, at this point and incorporate a lengthy presentation of achievements. Um, you may be very pleased to hear that I have significantly reduced this today due to the slightly unusual format of the event. Immediately after my speech, we will run a presentation of achievements that uh, Mrs. Roberts has prepared for us. Each of you in the hall today has gained the highest level of academic attainment or have been recognised for very significant wider achievements. This is your day and I do want to congratulate you all, everybody who's here to receive an award. Um, you have achieved this despite the major restrictions that COVID has made to your lives, indeed all our lives. You should feel very, very proud and you should do. If you can achieve this now, then you can certainly go on to be very successful in more normal times. We've already recognised the achievements of hundreds of our pupils at our BGE awards ceremonies also. 
In 2021, we have carried out an extensive consultation to look again at our students' vision and values after COVID. We also have a considerable change to our catchment area for pupils who are now in S1 to S4. Part of the response to this consultation was a clear view to include our opportunities to reflect the wide range of opportunities which our staff and pupils offer. I must take the opportunity to thank all of our staff and sports ambassadors for the fantastic work they do to provide such an extensive range of clubs, activities, trips and study support. Hopefully, we will be allowed to have performances and trips as a normal mix session. We've all got our fingers crossed. And it is so nice to hear these musical performances today. And I know how important it is for, for pupils and, and for teachers. Uh, I, I was quite emotional listening to that this morning. It felt like such a long time. And actually, exactly the same when I saw the achievements presentation, which you'll see shortly. Our motto is, don't wish for it, work for it. And I don't think any of the audience here today needs me to remind you of that. Success requires hard work, uh, and I'm sure the Shans will be the first to be able to tell us that what they've just done didn't just happen. It's hundreds and hundreds of hours of practice, and I'm sure the same is for everybody who's here for whatever reason, we practice and practice and work and work. Um, there are some very basic statistics, which I won't dwell on very long, which are used to determine how successful Scottish schools are. Dunfermline High School has done very well against schools, comparator schools are called, for, for literacy and numeracy qualifications. And we are usually quite significantly ahead in every category. And the same for our general SPA exam attainment. They, they figure or fare very well by comparison. Percentage of pupils who left school and went on to a positive destination, which is a big way that schools are measured. Well, this school was 95.5% last year in really difficult circumstances. And this was also of our comparator schools for the fourth time uh, in five years. Following the introduction of a new attendance and wake up policy this year, the attendance figures, another key, key uh, measure for school success, was 90% for this year, again in really difficult circumstances, but that was 4% above the five average. We do have plenty to be really positive about at Dunfermline High School and I will share some general highlights before we get to the main um, presentation. So, one of the five ways to well-being is giving and I've been very impressed with our desire to support others through charity work throughout this year. 540 presents were donated for 4th One Cash for Kids Mission Christmas. 125 kilograms of food was donated to a local food bank. £1,350 was raised to support humanitarian work in Ukraine through a bake sale. I don't think I've ever seen as many cakes before in my life, but you still managed to eat them all, so well done. £650 was raised for Five Women's Aid and £380 for Comic Relief. And just last night, Sophia Holligan and Maya Drummond won £3,000 for the local charity Choices in Fairland through the Youth Philanthropy Initiative. I also received really positive, and I mean really positive feedback from the visitors about the quality of entries that they'd seen for the YPI event school. In fact, I think the phrase that was used was they, they visit lots of schools, but they said they'd never heard anything quite like it or seen anything quite like it. And I mean that in the most positive way. This morning I also received notification from Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme that the social value of hours committed by Dunfermline High School pupils in the last year. In the last year it equates to £1,200 and lots of our senior pupils have also achieved salt high awards for volunteering over the course of the session. We're really delighted with the work and support of our pupil empowerment teams in the school to enhance pupil voice. This purpose has done a great job in leading this over the last few years and these groups are working very hard with Miss Baird and others to take forward our application to receive rights respecting the school's silver accreditation. We are very hard bronze. And we have visitors in the school next week to consider what else we may need to do to achieve this. We're hopeful that the answer is nothing or very little, uh, but thanks to the work of staff and pupils across the school, we are also optimistic that we will achieve the Digital Schools Award and the LGBT Scotland Charter status uh, this year. <coughs> I was also delighted to see another second year group of pupils make it to the Columna 1400 Leadership Academy and Sky this session. We know that this can be life-changing and, and very emotional uh, and some of us in the hall have experienced that and it really can be. It's also been great to see Duke of Edinburgh expeditions taking place again 
And my thank goes to all the staff who give up the time to support us, a lot of staff involved in that. And particular thanks must go to Mr. Trainer for leading this. Throughout, this, throughout the year, there has been so much extremely positive work done in support of our First Minister Reading Challenge. Our super enthusiastic English department continue to share their love of reading with our pupils and are trying everything to encourage our pupils to develop a desire to read. The department are consistently recognised for creativity and passion for promoting reading in this challenge. And just this morning, it has been formally announced that the Villain High School has again been highly commended in the reading and inspiration category for this year's First Minister of Reading Challenge. And that is a big deal. And there's been a lot of things that have contributed towards that. And debating today is the final of the prestigious Law Society of Scotland Donald Dewar Schools debating competition at the Scottish Parliament. And congratulations to Rachel McGrath and Andrew Bell, who are missing the awards having this afternoon, unfortunately, because they're away across to the Scottish Parliament uh, to take part in this. The competition is tonight, but they're actually debating in the Scottish Parliament Chamber. And it is a huge deal. I don't know who's more excited about it, Rachel, Andrew, or uh, Mr. Forbes, or uh, Mr. Brown. Uh, I don't know who's more excited amongst them, but it's a big, big deal. Um, significant work has also been done to support National Anti-Bullying Week in November. And this included anti-bullying animation created by Mrs. Rebarkin's S1 Art Classes. This animation won the Royal Scottish Academy Award Runner-Up Prize in the Brodie's Inspirational Art Department category. It's a big deal. The art department also worked closely with other agencies in the film to support the Angels of the Rare and Film project, and this featured on our school Christmas card this year. Our under-16 football team comfortably won the Fife Cup and were narrowly beaten in the Scottish Cup final. Um, I have been a head teacher for nearly 15 years, and the number of pupils who, in the school who were successful in the Scottish indoor and outdoor athletics competitions this session, national competitions greatly exceeds anything I've ever experienced and, and that was a big, big deal. That doesn't happen very often. There is a great deal to be proud of and collectively we can rise to meet the challenges that we have to ensure that the film in high school goes from strength to strength. Thank you for listening and we'll pass on, we're going to show you the, the full achievements uh, presentation just now. I can't begin to say how much it means to actually see people participate in all these things again in, in the school, and you should be very proud of that. Um, I'm going to pass over to Mr. McLeod now, who's going to read the first set of, of, of the award winners. So, the first category is for excellence in S4. So for accounting, design and manufacture, and music, 
Look what lights shine. Well done. Biology, Chemistry, English and Physics, Tanisha Adman. Spanish, Niv Mi in Absentia. For Computing Science and Mathematics, Aidan Green. For Drama, Elise Ritchie. Childcare, Grace Paul in Absentia. For German, Marcus Stairhaus. <laughs> Graphic Communication, Rachel Kerr. and absentia. For modern studies, Amy Greenhall and absentia. For physical education, Jenna Donnelly and absentia. For practical woodworking, Kaida Maya Hogate. Categories for excellent at higher level. For accounting, Leslie Edwards in absentia. Oh, sorry, Leslie. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> for admin and IT, Neve Wexelstein in absentia. For art design, Emily Fagan. Management, you and quite love in absentia. For chemistry, Maya Crawford. For childcare and development, Leah Adams in absentia. Oh, sorry, we are confused. <laughs> Science, Engineering Science and Physics, Adam Kumar, who is an upset judge. <laughs> For Design and Manufacture, Ewan Lally. <laughs> For Drama and German, Hayley Davis, an upset judge. English, Cassidy McCracken in absentia. <laughs> For French, Miriam Brocky. <laughs> For 
geography, at a screen. For graphic communication, Rachel Lee. For hospitality, Sky Hunt. For human biology and modern studies, Lily Height. Jasmine Ferguson. For music, Matthew Cromo. And I'll say that. For photography, Ewan McCabe. And I'll say that. For physical education, Megan Kell. And I'll say that. For politics, Danny Fitzgerald. <laughs> For religious, moral, and philosophical studies, Amy Ward. <laughs> For Spanish, Lauren Gold and Absentia. The next category is the Ducks Award for Excellence at Advanced Tiger. For Geography and Biology, Libby Wilson in Absentia. And also for Joint and Biology, Yasmin Ferguson. For Business Management, Ailey Kelso. Chemistry, Leslie Edwards. <laughs> For Computing Science, Raj Negi in Absentia. <laughs> For Design and Manufacture, Max Hogg. For Engineering Science, Kirsten Gibb. For English, Rachel McGrath and Absentia. Graphic Communication, Kirsty Robertson. Mathematics and Physics, Max Lane in Absentia. <laughs> For Music, Leah Burgess. <laughs> and our final category are our general awards. So the Alice McKee Memorial Award for Academic Excellence and Commitment to Sport, Nefeli Idihan. David Thompson Memorial Prize for Geography in Class S1, Hannah Selkirk. <laughs> the Vanna Dunkerley Memorial Award for Endeavour, Finlay Hunter.
the Malcolm Catanac Award for Progression in the Duke of Edinburgh, Rowan Speed. Public speaking gavel uh, and prize joint, um, Rachel McGrath and Andrew Bell, who are at the Parliament obviously just now, so in absent. Can we give them a really big round of applause? <laughs> the Rotary Award for Leadership is sponsored by the Rotary Club, John Ferman, Abby Faircloth, and Lewis McGarry. Prize for Growth and Future Assets Investment Competition Awards 21-22. We have a group of our students from the Business uh, Management Department. Get them all to come forward one go. We don't your names if you come forward. We have a big round of applause at the end. Molly Adam in Absentia, Leah Hicks in Absentia, Jessica, McGu Jessica McGuire, Millie McNaughton in Absentia, Jennifer Phil, and Sonny Walker in Absentia. Leah Borges is going to perform for us just now. She's going to perform dances. Leah, well said. subjects I wanted to study, I went on to make great lifelong friends, I learned skills such as woodworking, which I still do today as a hobby, I had adult-like relationships with my teachers, and I learned that I could have fun in school by letting my personality grow and develop as I turned from a 13-year-old spotty, particularly a wee bit overconfident 13-year-old, and now I've turned into a better, better learned version of myself. 
I know that for some of you, your journey is not yet over at DHS, and I would strongly encourage all of you to throw yourselves into schooling and maximise the opportunities that this fine establishment has to offer. Not only will this help you move on from school to a place of your choice, but it will help you become the best version of yourself. Finally, enjoy while it lasts, because it's over before you know it. Good luck, and don't forget to buy me a pint when you see me at the town. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Um, these past six years of me being in high school have been some of the best years of my life. I've made long-lasting friendships that I hope continue to go, um, especially when they all go to uni and I don't follow them. But um, I've made great relationships with all my teachers, some that I knew from outside of school that I will continue to know. I've managed to make my mark in this school by being part of all these committees and I've gained all these great subjects and knew all these great people just from being able to be here. I know from going to primary school this was some of the scariest times in my life knowing that I was having to leave it all behind but now that I know that I'm leaving high school and going on to not knowing any of these people, it, that has become the scariest thing but I'm glad I did it and I'm glad to know that I did it with all these great people with me. Thank you. Thanks, Abby, and uh, worse for your speech, but also for your, your last year and, and put up with Mr. McLeod, I think, for most of the year. You, you deserve a special medal for that, but, uh, I think it will be appropriate. But genuinely, thank you. It's been a, a, not as difficult as the last year, perhaps, but it's not been a normal year, but you've certainly been the most of it, so thank you very much.